Humans are possibly the best runners on the planet, at least in terms of distance. Under the right conditions, a human in moderately decent shape can outrun lions, tigers, bears, and yes, even cheetahs. In 2013, a news story broke out about a man named Mr. Hassan. He raised goats in the Wajir region of northeastern Kenya. But Mr. Hassan had a problem. Each day, his goats were being killed one after the other by wild cheetahs. After 15 attacks, they had wiped out the majority of his goats. Seeing his livelihood slipping away, he had to do something before all of his goats were lost. A lot of people would pick up a rifle in this situation, but cheetahs are on the threatened species list, with a rapidly dwindling population pushing the cats closer and closer to extinction each year. So Mr. Hassan opted for a more humane solution, one that probably sounded a bit insane to the three young villagers he recruited to help. They waited until the right time to strike at midday when the sun was high in the sky, a time when cheetahs normally rest. When the time came, the four people began the chase. Together, they stalked the cats across the African terrain. In a sprint, a cheetah can reach blinding speeds, possibly up to 75 miles per hour. But this is an exhausting task for a cheetah, and after an all-out sprint, they are forced to rest for a while just to recover. Over distance, they just couldn't sustain enough speed to outrun the humans, and within four miles, the villagers captured their prey and turned the cheetahs over to the Kenyan authorities, exhausted and alive. Given enough distance, we have certain advantages that no other species on Earth can match. The closest contender to humans is probably a horse. In 1980, two men were arguing in a bar over whether a person could outrun a horse in a marathon. A local landlord overheard the conversation, which inspired him to do something amazing. No, he didn't decide to stop being a landlord and actually work for a living, but he did decide to settle the debate once and for all, or so he thought. He arranged the Man vs. Horse Marathon in Wales, which did such an amazing job of settling the debate once and for all that it is now an annual event where people try to settle it again year after year. Although first place often goes to a horse, some years a human claims the fastest time. In the 2022 race, runner Ricky Lightfoot took the crown with a faster time than any of the 60 horses competing. At a minimum, each year some humans manage to set a faster time than some of the horses, proving that even they can outmatch us based on species alone. One advantage that makes us well suited to distance running is your sweaty pits. A lot of animals, like dogs and cats, cool themselves by panting rapidly. It works, but it's not as efficient as sweating. Horses do sweat a bit, but not like we do. As a result, we can cool ourselves very rapidly, allowing us to maintain higher muscle output for longer periods of time. A 2007 paper focused on our exceptional ability to run in hot, arid conditions, and it also pointed out our ability to outrun even horses, particularly when it's hot out. Another key advantage is provided by the unique anatomy of our legs. Tendons like the IT band absorb energy as we land on a leg, storing up to 50% of the energy that they absorb. When we take our next step, that stored energy is released back into our stride, propelling us forward much faster without requiring any additional effort. This is a huge advantage that not even the other apes get to enjoy, and it's part of why our ancestors practiced persistence hunting, chasing down prey over miles and miles, knowing the animal will eventually tire out and make for an easy dinner. So the next time you feel like an out of shape slob, just remember, in a certain sense, you are still king of the jungle. Thank you for watching this video. To see more similar content in the future, don't forget to subscribe to Rocket Surgery. And here's another video that you might want to check out next.